Hi folks, here you're going to watch a video to learn about using the Bruker OPA 7.0 software for the Fourier Transform Infrared FDIR machine. On the computer desktop, we can start by double clicking the icon OPA 7.0. After which, they will prompt you for a password. You're just going to key in in capital letters O P U S. Once again, it's O P U S. Orion, Paragon, Ulysses, and Sigma. Once you're in the program, you're going to check the status of the light at the bottom right-hand corner. It should be green. Click on the tab Measure, and then set up measurement parameters. At the sample description, key in the name of the sample that you're going to test for. You can go on to the next tab, under Advanced. You can change the file name and the path to the folder that you want to be saving this IR spectrum under. At the same time, in this column, you can see the resolution. Uh, you can adjust it, sample scan time, background scan time, and saving data from the range of the wave number that you want to view. So for any normal undergraduate sample, our scan mode has to be in transmittance, scan range 400 to 4000 cm inversed. And of course, the number of scans is set to be at 16. Once done, you can save and exit. Now, click on the same tab again, Measure, under Measurement. Mm, here you key in the sample name, sample form, file name, path, etc. So once again, you do this adjustment. Make sure that at this point of time, you have no sample in the machine. This is to allow for the background scan, which is just air. If it's all good, you can start by clicking Start background measurement. Look at the green bar at the bottom. It shows that how many scans you're having in the system right now. Once your background scan has been done, insert your sample into the machine. And when it's ready, click Start sample measurement. Hold on for a while and you wait patiently and voila your IR spectrum is up you can see that some of the peaks as for instance 3500 is a bit being obscure so you got to place your mouse cursor to the panel and can shift and adjust it to wherever you can so that you can see the full spectrum once you're happy with the positioning of your IR spectrum click on the tab evaluation scroll down peak picking this is like a semi-automatic pick picking. So you can see there's this uh, brown line on the horizon. You can position it up and down and you see that there's more or fewer peaks being shown. So you can adjust it to see the sensitivity of the peak picking. It's all up to you. Once you're happy with the peaks that you have, you can click the store button on the left column. This will save all the peaks that you have done just now. You see it's all good. So now you're just going to place the mouse cursor and drag down the bottom okay, so that you have a clear um, projection of your whole screen. Adjust the view of the spectrum that you want to be printed on the paper that you're going to submit. If you wish to perform baseline correction, at the same spectrum, you can go to the top rows of tabs, click on manipulate, and then Baseline correction. And you see that your new IR spectrum looks a bit different from the one previously. At the same time, you notice that the peaks that you have picked just now, they are all gone. Don't worry, you can do the same again. So again, you can adjust the positioning of the spectrum that you want to view. And you can go on and do the same peak picking as what I have illustrated just now. You may see that there's excessive number of peaks, the pointers that are being shown, and you do not want that. Fret not. Just follow me and click on the icon over here, Interactive Peak Picking. Do a simple click, okay, and you can delete and even add on new peaks that you want it to be shown there. So again, you can adjust the positioning of the spectrum that you want to view. To print, you go to the top row of your icon, click print, and then now you have a drop down column here. 
there's a print spectra quick print do not click quick print okay you should be clicking on the print spectra icon it will pop up a new small window so under the files to print for the selected frame you click that the one that is your sample click show preview to see how does it look like on the piece of paper the spectrum is going to be printed on and if you're happy fully satisfied go to the top left corner at the tab click print once you have successfully printed out the very nice R spectrum you can just close the window and leave the machine for the next user thank you this is Foodman on the mic guiding you throughout have a nice day and see ya